Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, this is just a really quick tutorial video on how to get water uh, for crash landing. Uh, obviously, you've been playing crash landing you've, and you know that water is probably, well, I suppose water and food are the two main things that you need to achieve. Um, so I've got three very basic setups. Um, they're all semi-automated, they're not fully automated, but yeah, anyway, we'll go through them. So this one is, I think we'll... Uh, might have been generic bees one, I can't remember. Anyway, so basically you just want to fill leaves in this chest. You want um, item ducks running between them, so just you know however many you want. Um, and then you just got to give it a redstone signal. Obviously you change the setting so it's pointing outwards. Um, in the it will go into a fluid transposer, and that will turn <coughs> excuse me that will turn ten leaves into one bucket or one water bottle. Uh, yeah full of water so once you've done that the uh you need to make sure you've set it up correctly so i've got mine the blue is the incoming slot so that's where your items will come in into here uh and then i've got two outgoing slots so one of them is the top which goes to the barrel um or it can go to a portable tank as you can see over here uh and the right one that's because these produce i think it's sticks oh they're sticks and saplings so you get saplings and sticks randomly um from using these oak leaves so that's that's pretty good you know it's another form of getting sticks without using any wood and just using these leaves um, and as you, you're well aware leaves are quite easy to get uh, you can use saplings as well on this it works just the same um, and wh what I've got powering it for an easy power supply is just a survivalist generator um, that's probably the, what the easiest power to make I can't actually show because in the creative mode but you know how to check the recipe it's it's quite simple I think it's just a, a piston and a bit of redstone. Sweet. Um, the next step, uh, the next one is, this is the next setup. This is the, the same as Direwolf 20s. It doesn't really matter how long this pipe is, um, but it's the same sort of thing. So a chest where you put your leaves, it goes to an item duct, which runs, it needs to run to the top of the crucible, and the crucible has to be um, above a heat source. It can be a torch, can be lava, it can be this... Uh, I can't even remember what it's called, pyrothium or something like that. Uh, the reason, the other thing is I'm using on here is this is dark, dark glass. This is the same glass that you get from breaking these. And the reason I'm using those around it is because they're not flammable. Well, the mod, I, I don't think the mods are compatible, so yeah, it's not flammable. So basically you won't have to worry about getting caught on fire. So I've just sort of made a, a simple track with these just so it comes um, in like that. It'll also stop the fire spread from over here because it spreads one block out so yeah so this one yeah it's pretty simple so it just runs into the crucible crucible is obviously turning over a half a millibucket per tick because it's sitting over this pyrothium uh, and then that just comes out to a, a water duct or fluid duct sorry and again it needs a redstone signal with an outgoing slot and that will go into either a, a water barrel or portable tank both are pretty simple to make um, the tank is four pieces of glass and a piece of copper which is pretty uh, affordable, especially when you're starting out. This one here is a little bit more. It's about it's 10 pieces of iron, but it will hold 256 buckets. So basically, once you've built this, you'll never really have to worry about um, it overflowing. Like this one here, this only holds eight buckets, and then it's full. So if you want to keep your water production going for as much as long as possible, I, I suggest the, the barrel. But um, obviously, it's 10 pieces of iron, which isn't the easiest to come by when you're starting out. Um, but yeah, this is, this is probably the best, uh, the best setup I reckon because it doesn't require any coal like this, this one here requires coal. Um, the other one I'm about to show you requires coal to power the furnace. Um, this one here, it's just, yeah, it's, it's pretty self-managed. It's probably the easiest to build. Um, it, it is a little bit costly though. Like the crucible you'll make for your quest anyway, item duct and fluid duct, um, it's a couple pieces of lead. You don't have to make them this long because I think you get, when you make them, you get six of them. So, yeah, you can do a die wolf and that did, and they brought the chest and the barrel into their base so the heat stays away, which is a really good idea. But this is, this is just more of a, this is how it works, a simple thing for you guys. And then the third one, the third and final, is the way that Etho is doing it, which he's creating, well, I've automated it slightly, but not, you know, fully. Um, again, this is the same, oak leaves, needs a redstone signal, needs to go to the top of an oak barrel that will fill it up um, and start composting it into dirt. And then again, it comes out and sits in this chest. So you'll get you'll get dirt in here after it's finished. It's going now, but 
yeah, you'll get dirt coming to here. So when when you get the dirt, you can do this just manually and just shove, shove a um, uh, dirty water. Sorry, you, you add it with a glass bottle and shove it in the furnace manually. It's a bit of a hassle doing that though, because you're gonna have to like fill, make it, then chuck it in, make it, chuck it in. So basically, I just um, what I did is just automate it. It's two hoppers. It is still pretty expensive because the hoppers take five iron or, or you can use aluminium as well which it's a good use for aluminium if you if you haven't got anything to use it for um but yeah the reason i added the chest is just so i could slam them in there basically that'll just feed to the top of the furnace the furnace will cook them obviously this is salt water so it's just going to give me salt but you get the point you just put dirty water in there or muddy water and then that's just going to feed out into this chest so basically in this chest we'll just you know when you need to fill up you just run to this chest grab whatever you want yada 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 but my, yeah, I, I still think that this is probably the best setup. I can't even remember who did it, but this is probably the best setup. Because you can just go with these, right-click on the uh, with a glass bottle, right-click on the tank, or right-click on the drum. It does the same thing, and that will give you water. So, yeah, hopefully this has helped you out a little bit. Uh, you've probably seen these designs before, but it's just putting it in perspective just so it's really easy to make. So you got your your powered one, which requires coal, charcoal, or something to burn in there so that's that one this one's pretty good it still does produce heat because of the survivalist generator you could move that generator um, away using um, like leadstone energy conduits and all that stuff but just for simplistic this is this is pretty decent uh, same same with this you could use a fluid duct to move the barrel away you know so yeah so that's that this is the second one so this one is a chest some item ducts fluid ducts crucible which you should already have for a quest uh, obviously a little lever there this is optional you don't have to do this you can just <laughs> you can just leave it um you know just how it is just fly over it doesn't really matter but this is just makes it a little bit more cleaner and it's easy to get the start glass you just take it off your or ex existing base um yeah and then a, a portable tank or a water drum and then the last one again pretty simple a couple of chests oak barrel item ducks um, again, these are optional. You don't have to do these ones, but two hoppers, a, f a furnace, and um, a couple more chests. This one's probably requires the most work because you have to like fill that, which is the same as everyone. But then once it comes in here, you have to move this, combine it with a bottle, chuck the bottles in here, you know, refill the furnace, yada yada yada. So yeah, this is probably the easiest and best design I can see so far. Someone's probably going to prove me wrong. There's probably better designs, but yeah. This is a Direwolf 20s one, I think, or Pahama. It's one, one of those guys. All right, sweet as. Thanks for watching anyway. Let me know if you've got any questions, and I'll answer them if I know the answers. See ya.